Good morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Benjamin Masugu. Today I will be reading from the book of Luke. The book of Luke where John sent two of his disciples to ask Jesus if he was the one we were expecting or we should expect someone else that was a big question brothers and sisters that was a question from somebody who was under arrest this question was was asked by john while he was in prison brothers and sisters when you know your life is coming to an end when you know everything will come to an end John asked this question, and he said, Go and ask him, is he the one we expected or should look for another? Brothers and sisters, in times like this, these questions come to our minds. These questions, while we are in quarantine, while we see our brothers and sisters being taken to glory by God, we have got these questions, who is next? But I want to come to you, brothers, to encourage you. This this time is not the end. This is the time when we have to trust God. I'll read from Luke 7, from verse 18 up to verse 23, where John sends his two of his disciples. I'll read. The disciples of John uh, reported all those things to him and John. And John. And John calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to the Lord, saying, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? And when the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you, saying, Are you the one who is to come, or shall we look for another? In that hour he healed many people of diseases and pledges and the evil spirits, and on many who were blind he bestowed sight. And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive sight, the lame walk. Lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, the poor have good news preached to them, and the blessed is the one who is not offended by me. Brothers and sisters, today I come come to you to encourage you, brothers and sisters, that even in this situation where we are, in the quarantine, wherever we are, He is still the same. He has not changed. He is still God. Brothers and sisters, John asked this question. He was in prison. He was in a place of no comfort. 
He wanted the, the assurance before he died that he was God himself. Remember, brothers and sisters, John is the one who baptized Jesus. And he is the one who saw the, the Holy Spirit come from heaven like a dove. And today, because of the pain, because of the pressure, or because of the fear, he comes back and says, go and ask him, is he the one that we are we're expecting or should we wait for another? Today, brothers and sisters, I know most of us have got questions, but hold on. Hold on to God. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel, but hold on because he is still the same. The same God who said, I have my, I know the plans I have for you. The plans to prosper you. Brothers and sisters, that same plan is still the same plan. Even during the corona, where you think tomorrow it might be me, is still the same plan, the good plan that God has got for you. Brothers and sisters, this is the time to hold on. Be strong, as he said. Because this is when God appears in all our situations. Brothers and sisters, I have come to encourage you. When John asked this question, he was uh, in prison. At that time, it was a painful situation for him because he was waiting to be, to, to be beheaded. But today, brothers and sisters, we know about the corona. Everybody has seen the danger, what corona, what has happened with people with corona. But brothers, there is still God. The same God who said, I'll be with you till the end. Today, brothers, I've come to encourage you. You might be in quarantine. You might be under very much uh, pain. You might be under fear. You might be under any pressure. But God still there, brothers and sisters. He is the same God. The same God. The one you believed. He's still the same God. I know it under pressure. People tend to have questions. It's good to have questions. But don't doubt. Don't doubt he's still the God. The same God who opened the Red Sea for the Israel to cross the river. He's still the same God, brothers and sisters. I want to encourage you. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. This is the time when we need to be strong because this is the time God will show us his, how he can solve our problems. Most of us have got fear now, but fear will cripple you, brothers and sisters. Fear will shake your faith. But stand firm, brothers and sisters. This is the time when we need to, we need God. We need to know God more. Meditate on his word day and night. Don't let fear take over your life. Once the fear takes over your life, you are crippled. You are going nowhere. The next thing, you'll be asking questions. That's why we have brothers and sisters. Because of pain or other things, they have given up their faith. And they decided to do a, 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 a go in, a, in, in different directions. But today, I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters. God is still God. Doesn't matter what situation we go through. He is still God. He is the same God who saved the Israelites. He's the same God who appeared to Moses. Brothers and sisters, I don't know how your situation is, but I believe that if you trust God and have faith in God, he is there. He will never leave you nor forsake you. This is the day the Lord has made for us to rejoice. I know it might be painful to some of us, but let's look at, at the cross. Because if we know who God is and who we know who Jesus is, we'll never go wrong. 
God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son to come and die for our sins. And I trust him. I know him. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. John, John was in prison by then. He was in a situation where he was starting to count his days because he was going to be beheaded. But brothers and sisters, even in this time of Corona, <clears throat> God is still God. God is still God. And God is still good. I want to encourage all of you, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> that even in our painful situations, God is still God. And God is still good. Never give up. Never give up, brothers and sisters. John says, Go and ask him, is he the one who is to come or we should look for another? Are you in that situation? Because you wanted your situation to be solved, solved as quick as possible. But be patient, brother. God appears at his own time. He knows about you. He's never, he will never forget you. I want to encourage you, brothers. God will never leave us nor forsake us. He is a loving God, a jealous God about us. The Bible says, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That is Romans 5 verse 8. How can he leave us today? How can he leave us in this corona? In this quarantine? He is a loving God. He is a loving God, brothers and sisters. I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters. This is the time when we need to know God. Meditate on his word. Under this painful situation, still hold on to God. Hold on to God. Even when the Israelites were in a very painful situation, God always supplied whatever their needs were. God was there to supply. Even today, brothers, we might be in a situation where we think we cannot get food, where we cannot, we can, we think we cannot get any medication. Remember, there is still God in all this situation. Where we think there will be no water, but God is there to give us that water. I encourage you, brothers. Questions might might come, but remember who God is. The God who loved us. The God who loves us now. The Bible says, when the two disciples that were sent by John went to Jesus, they said, are you the one who is to come or shall we look for another? In your situation, my brother and sister, I'm sure these questions come when you think this will be over by now. But hold on, brothers. God has his own timing. Just worship him. Even in our painful situation, he is still God. He is still the same God. Remember how far he has taken you from. How far he has taken you from. We say Ebenezer because he has taken us this far. Look at the path you have walked. 
Look at how far you have gone. It was because God's love for you. And I pray, brothers and sisters, that will, God will protect all of us. Protect every one of us in this situation, in this quarantine, where we think this is over now. But God, let's wait for God's timing. All these questions will be answered. Brothers and sisters, he is the same God. He is the same God who loved you while you are still in your new mother's wombs. And he continued to love you till today. You will go through all the painful situations, but God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Are you the one we expected or should we wait for another? He is still the same God. Brothers and sisters, I know all these things are not easy, but let's endure till the end. Let's endure till the end. Because he says, for I know the plans I have for you. He is the only one who knows about our life. We cannot go anywhere. Like Moses, when God, when God sent him, he said, I'm not moving unless you move with us. I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters. Are you in doubt today? Are you in doubt about what's happening around you? What you have seen? But God is still with you till the end, brothers and sisters. I pray that you find strength in this situation and hold on to your faith till the end. God will always be with you. I pray, brothers and sisters, that you take time when every thought comes into your mind. Pray about it. Bible says, do not worry about anything, but everything by prayer. Let your requests be known to God. So I encourage you, brothers and sisters, even in this time, do not worry about anything, but by prayer, let everything be known to God. All these questions will be answered. But if we don't hold on to God, things will be very tough, brothers and sisters. These things will be very tough. I pray that these words will encourage you will encourage all of us. Are you the one? We are expecting or should we look for another? Brothers and sisters, look nowhere. He is still God. Look nowhere because he is still the same God. John was in, a, in prison. His life was about to end. He might have been thinking that Jesus should have come in and just 
take him out of prison. But he says, go and ask him, is he the one we expected or should we look for another? Are you the one who is to come or shall we look for another? No, don't look for another. Look at God. He is still the same. Jesus, the one who has come, he is the one who is to solve or help us in our situation. May the love of God be with us all. I thank God for you all, and I pray that this message will touch our, our hearts and our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and thank you all. God bless you. Amen.